Hello and we're back and today we have this beautiful looking 3070 from EVGA. I think it's broken. I don't know why it's here. I usually do laptops but today we're going to do graphics card. Which is, you know, which is okay. Let's see uh, what the customer wrote. Hello Soren. I'm very sorry. Your name sounds like sorry. Soren. I butchered my 3070. Now you fix it. No easy pizza for you? Whoa. Okay. Oh no. Check here. Somebody worked on this before. We're missing a resistor, the capacitor, and the coil. Someone ripped, ripped out the coil. But why? Could they not find a properly calibrated wire uh, I don't know so let's look around and see if we can find what's going on I'm going to remove the thermal paste you don't need thermal paste for 3070s and this here looks like it was rust but it's not rust it's just thermal putty I think I don't know do you think what do you think let me know Let's see, we're missing coils, so we cannot measure the resistance without the coil. So we need to put a coil and the resistor and the capacitor. Now I know some of you in the put comments saying, Hey Soren, why don't you put capacitors back on the board? And to those, I say, you know what? You've done me hundreds of times. You don't need capacitors. You just have to trust me. Capacitors are for suckers. So if you're a sucker, you put capacitors back on the board after you break them off, you're rookie. Professional repair people don't need capacitors. Here we have uh, another EVGA. This uh, 3080, I think. So let's remove the coil. Let's see if we remove the coil and the resistor and put it on the board. And I'm not going to solder that capacitor. Maybe I will. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. Hey, there's a coil. Now let's get the resistor. Oh, you know what? That's not a capacitor. It's a fuse. Ay, 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 ay. It's a fuse. Okay, let's start that fuse back on the board so that everybody is happy. Okay, so what do you think? Easy pizza? Yeah, easy pizza would be nice. Put the coil, resistor, and the fuse. Hopefully, this is it. So let's check for resistances on the coil. Oh, there's a short on this coil. So we have a short on this coil. Interesting. Now, where could it possibly be? Okay, let's see. Let's look at the board with the thermal camera. I'm going to inject some voltage and see if anything's glowing. I don't see anything. It's only pulling 0 0.1 of an amp. So the resistance is wild. Look at this. That's crazy, man. Look at this. 170. That's weird. Okay, let's, let's inject some voltage again see if anything lights up i don't see anything there's nothing anything on the back nothing on the back that's crazy what's happening here so somebody tried to do something with this the video card with this graphics card and i don't know what it is something is pulling that current 
Now, what will happen if we inject 5 volts and we're going to limit the current to one end? So, in case if we blow a hole, it will not be too big. Let's look. It's still not pulling any current whatsoever. No current at all. What about, I'm going to give it 12 volts and 500 milliamps. Let's see what happens. Nothing. I think we have bad ground. So we're going to go back. We're going to start low. One volt. Nothing. 0 0.0003 M. 1.8 volt, nothing. 5 volt, nothing. 12 volt, nothing. Oh, look at that. Check here. See this? Something is here. Is it on the other side of the board? Maybe? Let's look on the back. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's look. Let's look closer. Oh. Look at that. What is this? Oh, it's the chip. This chip monitors voltages. So if this chip isn't working, then there will be no voltages on the board. So we need to replace this chip. Hold on a second. Okay, so we're gonna need to replace this chip. I'm gonna look into the bag of brand new parts. And this one looks like it has solder on it. So take that. I don't know where it came from and if it's working, but we'll find out. I think it may have come from this board here. See, they're all removed. That's okay. That's our new chip. I'm gonna put it on the board. Hopefully it's just a chip coil and a fuse. Okay, let's go and remove that thing. Do you think we can remove this chip without flux? I don't know. Let's try. Who needs flux? Flux is too expensive. I'm not gonna add any flux here. We're just gonna save a little bit of flux in this repair. Let's see if we can remove this chip without flux. And there we go. And we got to put in a different chip. No flux. Flux is too expensive. Sort of the chip, but no flux. No, that's stupid. I can't do that. We need flux in here. There's no way. This thing is going to short everything if we don't put flux under it. There we go. We're going to do it like real professionals. Okay. Let's cool the board, and then we're going to check what the distance is one more time. Do we still have a short? What do you think? So let's check. Ah, uh, ah, uh, see, we're getting five kilo ohms and more. See, just like the other one. Perfect. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So what do you think? Do you is it going to be easy pizza or what? Let's see. Let's power the board, huh? Power the board, see what it does. No rebuild today. i seen this one guy on the internet, uh, Northwest uh, something about fixing, Northwest fix, not reach repair. He does rebuild. I'm not, oh man, I'm not going to rebuild. You crazy? That's too much work. I will go bankrupt if I start rebuilding graphics cards. Now let's look at thermal camera and see how the board looks when we power it on. Oh, it looks good. We have memory. We have pegs. See? Looks like the core. All the coils on the core are glowing. And we're pulling one end. So maybe we fix the board there. Huh? Very good job. Okay, let's power the part by the computer. T, if it will post. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. He posted. Ha, 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 that's crazy. 
That's crazy, man. I'm going to uh, run a memory test, just in case, so I don't have to take it apart again. What is this, a 3 series? Yes. Mats? Yes. Let's run some mats. There we go. Looks clean. No funny blocks. I think we did it. Yes. Easy pizza today. Uh, okay, okay, I'll put it together. Customer watching this gonna be very happy. I only wish that the customer would not attend any repairs. So make my life easier and maybe uh, hopefully this coil here. I don't know if you can see this, but this coil, it's a little taller than this one so I don't know if it's gonna fit the cooler that the customer provided but we're gonna try anyway there's old thermal interface everywhere that needs to be removed to some degree like so maybe I like my core clean I like it nice and shiny like brand new don't care about the rest of the boards the rest of the board can look as ugly as you like but the core is going to be clean core is going to be super clean yeah check here out huh? it looks new remove some flux here on the capacitor the cooler looks like this or what's left of it basically the cooler looks like garbage and no back plate customer forgot to send us a back plate bad customer so we're gonna cut some some pad like this and we're gonna reuse some of that pad now don't worry about it the pad for the driver MOSFETs doesn't need to be very fresh because these guys hardly ever get hot but the pads here for the memory and the memory MOSFETs it would be best to put new pads because there's a lot more heat so that's what I'm gonna do and I think customers supply their own pads, so let's see. Most likely they're, they're gonna be wrong, so I don't even bother trying. So zero. Yeah, these are like one millimeter pads. I don't know what they're for. They're completely useless uh, for this case, so don't know why you sent them to me. I don't know why people do stuff like that. They think they can send me some kind of pads and they will save million dollars you won't okay so let's put this one here gonna use every single piece that we have left nothing goes to waste found a back plate perfect we have back plate but we don't have any screws so we're gonna have to find some screws oh and the screws are here too that's crazy man i never seen screws before perfect yeah let's put some screws I was gonna do some duct tape, but since the screws are in the bag, we might as well use them. We're gonna be good boys today. Put some screws on, pads, you know. Do some tests, make sure everything's working, you know. Oh, we even have some extra screws here, yeah. Look here. So these two screws, I don't know what these for. This screw and this screw. I can probably use this one for something else, but this one's garbage, yeah, I don't like it. I'm not gonna need it but the little tiny screw I will use for a project and the project is battery analyzer case I'll show it to you see this battery analyzer yeah the NLBA so that's my case it looks very ugly inside but it's very practical so you see I connect the connectors here all of my adapters go into this box the wires and everything and it just gets closed on the side yeah see you got the markings for the contacts and what i have is i have this cable here so you just plug that in and then on the other end i design these small pcbs with the adapters so that you do not need to fiddle with the wires you just plug your battery into adapter just like this and it's ready for testing and i have few different 
adapters already still designing some more see like this one here an 8 pin a 10 pin Acer I have Asus 8 pin reversed and normal so it just makes it very easy because you can store all that inside here like this and it's just sitting inside and very nice I like it if you like it then smash that like button and uh, and if you don't like it then post a comment explaining why you don't like it so that we can all read it and uh, agree with you or not just depends how will you think you think this will work let's find out i'll plug it in and run some tests i think it'll work so that will be it for today goodbye and Please like, subscribe, share, do your part, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.